Turns into parking spaces are like any other turn, only a bit tighter. We position the car and signal just as we would for a right turn. We're far enough away from the other cars to make a wide turn. As we turn, we get our left bumper as close to the left as we can, so that our right rear clears the car on the right. And then pull all the way to the curb. Angle parking is similar, but easier. Getting in and out of a parking place along the curb is a good test of our ability to handle a car. Some states include it on the license exam. First, we stop with the back end of the car even with the front of the parking spot, about two feet away from the other car. We ship to reverse and check behind. We back slowly, turning the steering wheel to the right until the car is aimed at the back of the parking space. Then we straighten the steering wheel to drive toward the car behind. As we clear the rear of the other car, we turn the steering wheel sharply left while backing slowly. We want to keep the rear wheels 6 to 12 inches from the curb. If the tires are against the curb, we can't turn. We continue backing until the car almost touches the car behind. Now, we turn the wheel to the right and pull forward until the car is lined up with the curb. We move the car back or forward as needed to even out the space. Parallel parking is tricky and doesn't always succeed the first time. We may end up too close to the curb and find that we can't back far enough. Or we may end up too far from the curb and too far out in the street. If so, our best bet is to pull out and start the process over again. Leaving is a little easier. We back the car slowly, then we turn the wheel to the right to aim the front of the car toward the street. If the parking space is cramped, we may need to start backing with the wheel hard to the right. Turn hard left and enter the street slowly. After entering the street, we steer to the right to align the vehicle in the lane, straighten the steering wheel, and accelerate to match the speed of traffic. Just to be absolutely sure it doesn't take off on its own. Of course, we always set the parking brake and put the car in park so this will never happen. Well, almost always. If we're parked on a downgrade, we need to turn the wheels sharply to the right and let the car roll up against the curb. If there's no curb, we just turn the wheel sharply to the right. If the car does roll, it will stay out of the road. Facing uphill, we can turn the wheels sharply left and let the car roll backward against the curb. Again, if there's no curb, we can turn the wheel right so the car would roll away from the road.